When it comes down to new NFT projects breaking into the ecosystem, I look for a couple of key factors, this being utility and use case. And of course, the art and the effort behind the project. So in this video, I'm going to be diving into a couple of upcoming projects that have utility, use case, clean art, and of course, that effort. Also, yo, why is this hoodie like so big? Like, also, we were at 8,000 subscribers uh, maybe five days ago, so now we're at 11,000, so thank you guys so much. It means the world to me. I love you. Say it back. And before we dive into this video, none of this is going to be financial advice. Do your own research and comment down below some suggestions of projects you see upcoming and you think I should maybe do a video on. All right, thanks. Bye. Well, let's hop right on into it. The Basic Ape Society is making a beautiful return on the channel and for very good reason. As we can see on the screen, their gal collection is dropping tomorrow on February 6th. The new collection of 2,222 is going to play a a huge role in their roadmap and utility behind the project. From the time of recording this video, you're gonna have around 24 hours to get ready for this mint of the Gal Apes collection. You guys might be wondering, why do I wanna hold this secondary collection of their project? Well, if we hop into the ro- Really, dude? You just interrupted my video? Yo, shouts out to that guy. So if we go ahead and hop into the roadmap, as you guys can see from phase six, they're introducing the gals. So behind this secondary release, there's gonna be the utility factor that plays behind owning a gal ape and a normal ape, which is gonna create some sort of breeding, bringing you extra utility to the project. Having a regular basic ape society, plus the new gal ape collection, you'll be able to use these together to create some sort of mystery behind the project. Not 100% sure yet. There is gonna be some breeding mechanics behind this. And they also are teasing at their staking protocol as well where you take one basic ape you stake it on up and you reap the rewards of the basic token on top of this as well you might be asking yourself why should i hold a regular basic ape and why should i mint myself a new gal well the team does take a vow here to always give back to the community and make it their number one priority on top of that holder rewards are going to be 50 percent of royalties are put into a community fund and this accumulated amount of solana will be distributed back to holders on top of that the breeding will commence of the gal ape and the basic ape put them together and then boom you get a mystery we don't know what it is yet. It could be a kid. It could be it's some some sort of, you know, little baby ape or something like that running around. Time will tell. On top of this, the Basic Ape Society collection is on Magic Eden at the moment for a 0.25 Solana floor price. Going up to that 0.5 is relatively thin, so it is not a bad option to get into right now. Of course, do your own research, not financial advice. But I do think upon this new collection dropping, these will get scooped up relatively quick. On top of the new collection coming out for breeding, we also have a little bit of a look at what's to come down the line as well, such as their metaverse integration, tokenomic play behind their basic token and staking. And then down here, we will have the six legendary animated apes, five of them up for auction, and one will be airdropped to a random holder. They also have their roadmap 2.0 in the works, which will be completed once roadmap V1 is done. And then yeah, metaverse integration. So hey, yeah, it looks good. Looks clean. I like the art. I like the project. The team has been very transparent and very open to me as well. But please do your own research. Find out if the project is a good fit for you and your budget and what you want to do with it. The mint price is 0.49 Solana and it mints tomorrow, February 6th. Also, shouts out to the Basic Ape Society team for hitting me up. We're giving away two NFTs, one gal, and one normal one, and we're giving away 10 whitelist spots in the Discord down below. All right, yeah, moving on, let's go. Have you been looking for a new project that's uh, quite bizarre, if you will, or a little bit more on the more interesting side of a... Uh cool looking art well guess what bizarre platypuses are fucking in this collection comes to us on february 27th and dude just look at the art real quick look at the little fast looking going gif this shit looks cool and again coming back to the utility and the effort side of things bizarre platypuses is another one of these with no exception a huge lore behind the project an absolutely beautiful looking website with uh, there is so much engagement going on here there like there's a movie playing we're gonna, we're gonna sit back and watch a movie real quick like, dude, I'm in love with how this looks. This is by far one of the best looking website. Uh, this is the best website I've ever seen, dude. We're talking about clothing. We're talking about docs developers. We're talking about super cool freaking artwork. And the team's also giving away two Solana in their Discord every single day. Oh, and it also comes down to the actual merchandise behind the Bizarre Platypus NFT collection. They're giving away 40% of the royalties back to the DAO, and they're taking the royalties from their secondary back to the DAO as well. Over here, we are going to have ourselves the roadmap, which again, on a beautiful website, it looks so clean. There's going to be 7,777 of these. They're going to launch on all major marketplaces, so I'm assuming Magic Eden, Soul Sea, stuff like that, Salon Art maybe. The community fund is going to receive 40% of the royalty fees, and it's going to go back to the holders in the DAO. They're starting off with a beautiful $30,000 donation after their mint as well. And hey, they're giving away 333 pieces of the first Bizarre Clothing Collection in Stage 5 of the roadmap. So the giveaway will be out before the actual clothing line is introduced into the public. And then again, 40% of the clothing line net funds will go back into the community fund wallet. A huge thing about this project is they are working on becoming an actual flagship store in real life by bringing their merchandise to the real world where you can go walk in, 
hey, hey, bro, I want to buy some bizarre platypus merch. Let me, let me get, yeah, the hoodie, and then boom. You got your hoodie. And I definitely think a project like this could be well recognized in that urban style of merchandise, overall artwork, and how the community and team is set up. This is gonna be a collection of 7,777 at a sole price mint of one Solana on February 27th. Something pretty interesting as well about this collection is there's not gonna be any rarity. So this entire collection is gonna be over 350 traits on the platypus, and there's no actual rarity breakdown of percentages and how rare your actual traits are. It's gonna be based off of your looks. So if you see one that looks cool and you want to snag it and you want to try to flip it or hold on to it because it looks cool to you, to me that's where actual rarity comes into play. If art looks good to me, it looks good to me. A rarity doesn't actually mean, okay, this is worth more money because it's more rare. No, if it looks cool, it looks cool. So yeah, there is a bunch of lore behind the website as well. It goes into a lot of depth here, okay? A lot of these projects in today's video is super, super jam-packed with effort. And that was one of the main highlights of the intro. Effort. So I'm beyond stoked for this project. The overall effort, okay, I've said effort like 27 times. Times. You guys get the gist. It's just so cool, man. I'm so stoked for projects like this. Just overall, the artwork looks so good. I like it a lot, man. I'm a huge fan of this artwork for real. So the Bizarre Platypuses definitely deserved a spot on today's video. I love the artwork. I love the entire utility and the entire roadmap behind the project. Docs developers, two Solana giveaways every single day, royalties back into their DAO community wallet, and overall just giving back to the community and giving you guys a really cool looking art style. So by all means, do your own research on the project. Check it out if you guys want to. And the whole no rarity trait thing to me is something that makes it a little bit more unique. It's in the eye of the beholder. So on top of that, with a nice collection size and a pretty cheap Solana mint price, I think it's time for a quick word from today's video sponsor, FTX. If you've been looking for the number one cryptocurrency exchange in the entire world with the easiest and fastest ways to buy crypto and NFTs, FTX has you covered. With the lowest and most competitive trading fees over any platform in the entire industry, FTX has a full wide variety of all cryptocurrency coins and a full NFT marketplace for Ethereum and Solana. So if you want to make your first deposit and your first trade over on FTX and support the channel as well, the links are going to be down below. FTX also has a fully fledged mobile app that you can do all your crypto trading, investing, and NFT marketplace searching as well. So with no ACH fees, no fixed minimum transaction fees, and no withdrawal fees on the platform over on FTX, I think it's a no-brainer. This is your one-stop shop for all cryptocurrency and NFT needs. So hey, thanks a lot FTX for sponsoring today's video. The links are going to be down below. Go check it out for yourself. Stay on that money and support your boy. When it comes down to that art, utility, and overall effort behind the project, Mile High Ape Club is no exception. Hopping straight into a quick little overview of their website, we have a beautiful, in-depth website with a lot of effort behind it. Just overall super clean, super user-friendly, and all the information is straightforward and it gets straight to your eyeballs. And then when it comes on down to the artwork, holy shit. I mean, here's a little bit of a sneak peek on what's to come for the project. I just think it looks super freaking good. And when I say effort, I mean, there is like this really cool storyline behind the project. They have a huge lore going on here with a literal made artwork behind their lore, like a comic book sort of style, which is super cool. And it's a pretty long read. So uh, do what you got to do. On top of that, for the roadmap, we'll have the pre-mint, post-mint, phase one, phase two, phase three, and then moon or airplane. I I'm assuming that means moon. Are we going to the moon? So during their pre-mint, they're going to be reaching out and giving away some whitelist opportunities, which by the way, Shouts out to the Mile High Ape Club team for reaching out to me. We're giving away 20 whitelist spots in my Discord down below, so go check it out. And shouts out to all the Patreon members over there in the Discord. I love you guys. Thanks for the support. After their mint is completely sold out, they'll be listed on Magic Eden. They'll be establishing their DAO. The holder contest will commence. And they're also going to be hosting a real-life hangar party in Miami, Florida. And then phase one's where it gets pretty fucking crazy. We have a token and staking system. Of course, for all you paper handers out there, get out of the way because all the diamond handers will be staking onto the protocol and getting in the rewards behind the project. They're also working on creating an NFT analytic tool such as rarity values and purchase options all in one for a tool behind the project. On phase two, we get a little bit of a sneak peek at what's called hijacked apes, which could be a new collection in the works behind the project. I'm definitely diamond handing these. I love the artwork. and I think the roadmap is super set up very well. Super set up very, what the frick did I just, anyway. You'll be able to use this token to purchase inclusive rewards and items as well. There's gonna be secret airdrops to holders with some secret items as well in their wallets. So be on the lookout for that. And they're gonna continue to develop the animated series and the community as well. Boom, phase three, we get the metaverse. So down the line with staking behind this project, you will be earning yourself their token, which can actually be used to buy a serum that will be used for a mutation process behind their project. This could be hints at the hijacked apes, or this could be a whole 
entire different collection for their mutation. Not 100% sure yet, but behind actually getting the token as well from staking, it'll be used for other means as well behind utility and things you can purchase and get for having an inclusive token behind staking. Also, there are different staking tiers as well, depending on how many apes you own, all the way up to the premier medallion being 25 plus staked apes. But this will rake in an extra 25% of staked rewards every single day. So I think staking, the effort, the utility, the roadmap, the overall team behind this project is super freaking cool, super freaking sick. And overall, I think the actual utility is going to go a long way. Plus, there's a real life meetup. So I'm looking forward to that. That gets a stamp of approval from me. Tons of beautiful projects in today's video. If you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them down below. Go comment some of your favorite projects as well that are coming up or hey, if they're already listed. Again, a massive thank you on the channel. You guys are insane. Patreon's been sold out for multiple days now, if not a week plus. Uh, the, the channel's at 11,000 subs. I love you guys for real. Thank you. I've been trying to go live at least three to four times a week, which is crazy. They usually end up being around five hours long each. So thank you for being there. All the members, Patreon, subscribers, likes, comments, shares, Discord members, you name it. I love you. Thank you for the support. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time. Later.